Hey guys, this is Leo I'm Chewing Gum bringing you another video. In this video, we're gonna take a slow drive over to New Jersey, probably like 15 minutes away from Midtown Manhattan through the Lincoln Tunnel to East Rutherford, New Jersey. There's New Jersey, oh, that's Coach USA. And right, we're gonna go visit Toys R Us and to go to American Dream Mall. Drive. It's a little snowy today in mid-January of 2024. But we should be able to make it with no, no problem. It's approximately two o'clock on a Friday. So the traffic might not be great heading back home. But for right now, it's not terrible. Let's see what happens. Here we go in Jersey. So here we are, American Dream Mall. They have a Nickelodeon Studios in there. Everything over here, we're getting close. There's MetLife Stadium right over here. All of the New York Giants and the New York Jets. Right here we're approaching the American Dream Mall. You see right there it says American Dream Mall. American Dream on the sign. Let's stick to the right. In 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. American Dream Mall. And there's the famous Ferris wheel. Happy Lunar New Year. And here we are. Now let's find Toys R Us. The reason we're here. But if you want to see more about the Mayor, the American Dream Mall, you have arrived. Just let me know and I will do a tour of the actual mall since I know there are a lot of things to do in here. Like the Nickelodeon experience and a bunch of other stuff. All right, let's try to find parking. All right, we have our little parking ticket here. Took us a while to find this parking lot. I don't even know if we're in the right place because there are no signs that tell you exactly where to go. It just tells you, hey, listen, uh, stores are this way and it's A, B, C, and D parking. I'm at D, I'm assuming somewhere in the middle. So let's see if we can find Toys R Us. Hopefully it's not too much of a walk. All right, so here is lot C where I decided to park. Let's go inside. See if we can find Toys R Us. I hear this mall is huge, huge. Let's take a look in here. Look at the map, Toys R Us. This way, five minutes to your destination. I mean, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty nifty. Has a little bit of a, there's a welcome to the American Dream Mall there. All right, there, there are definitely a lot of stores here, a lot. Has a nice little seating area here. We have Coca Cola Eats upstairs. There's a Dream Wheel. And look at this Babies Are Us. Wow, I haven't seen a Babies Are Us in a long time. This is where you would do all of your, uh, I guess, baby registry. When somebody had a baby shower, they had a registry at Babies Are Us. Now it's Bye Bye Baby, even though I think Bye Bye Baby went out of business. So I have no idea. Maybe it's like Target or something. But wow, maybe maybe that's a, a video for another time to check out a Babies R Us. That might be another idea. Wow, Babies R Us. So we're probably not that far from a Toys R Us if we see Babies R Us here. It's a nice little garden over there. Nice little ice skating rink over here. A sneaker store over there. A little arcade over there in the corner. Wow, it's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that indoor ice skating rink. Now we have, oh, I see the giraffe over there on the right. There's a, uh, that's like a little anime store over there or something, which is pretty cool. But here it is, look at that, Toys R Us. And it looks like it's its own store, its own actual place look at that sign wow look at that an indoor slide in there too look at that wow it looks huge actually if i compare it to the one i went to in macy's this one has more of a feel a more of a toys r us feel just because it's has its own storefront here you have kinetic sand here nico trucks everything wow look at this and here we have 
Jeffrey over the years from 1965, 1965 to 2007. Toys R Us, another entrance here. Stop by for a cold treat at Jeffrey's Cafe. Whoa, soft serve milkshake slush frappes. Look at this. Another little picture. And there it is, ice cream. You can order right from here. Wow. Look at this. This is pretty sweet. And just, just look at this. It says Nickelodeon Slime right here. Nickelodeon Slime? Like, just having Nickelodeon here in general makes me feel like I'm in a much more magical place than being surrounded by clothes in Macy's on 34th Street in Herald Square. Look at this Nickelodeon universe in the back. Yo, look at the Nickelodeon blimp back there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're going to make me walk all the way over here. I came here for Toys R Us, and now I'm coming over here to check out this Nickelodeon universe thing here. Damn, this looks sick. Holy moly. It's like they got roller coasters in here, too. Rides and everything. There's Blue's Clues in the corner. All right, I'm definitely not going to go down the escalators. Definitely not going to go down the escalators. I'm just going to take a quick peek here. They got a Ferris wheel over here. They have rides over there. They have... Oof. They have... They have it all, man. Wow. They got look at that train. They got a train over there. Damn. Just taking it in. Oh, you can see a, somewhat of a roller coaster going up. You have, well, there's a, a closer look at the train there. I'm zooming in because I'm not going down there. This video is going to be two, three hours long. Looks like they have a little, the price is right, section over there with Plinko and the, and the wheel, the big wheel. Always wanted to go on the prices, right? Maybe. Maybe one day. All right, but let's head back. Let's head back and focus. Let's focus on what we came here. Look at that. A DreamWorks water park over here, too. Indoor water park. This is... This is crazy. Why don't we start the trip off with a little ice cream? Let's see. Wow. Waffle, cone... Soft serve ice cream. Ready serve ice cream. Ice cream sundaes. Milkshakes. Peanut butter and jelly milkshake. Yum. A slushy. Crepes. Smoothies. And a razzle. Smoothie is like the healthier option. A mango smoothie. I'm gonna do a little mango smoothie. Why not? All right, we got Jeffrey's Cafe here. One mango smoothie, seven dollars and forty-nine cents. Let's see how uh, big it is. Wait here while they prepare it. Let's see what they have here. Well, it looks like they have some pre-made ice cream in here. They have uh, tubs of ice cream in there. They have the menu up there. They have a place where you can order in here. Muffins, Cinnabons, cookies. Look at all these different, like, sprinkles that you can put on, on your ice cream. Damn, maybe I should have had an ice cream instead. Damn it. It is what it is. Mango smoothie is what's coming. So let's see what this looks like. But they have so much stuff here. Look at that store. Look at all those toys. Mmm, yum, yum. Very good. Very tasty. All right, and now to the main event of the evening. We can finally go into the store after nine minutes of this video of doing other things, and we can finally explore the inside of Toys R Us. And here we have some candy right by the entrance or the exit, whichever way you're coming in or out. We have Pez here 
some Pez over there, some Goofy over there, Paw Patrol, and Mickey Mouse. You name it, it's there. You got a Squishville here and a bunch of these Squishmallows or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, very popular, very comfy, very, very comfy. Uh, my daughter has one of them and uh, I use them as a pillow most of the time. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. We have a lot of uh, old, their school looking cotton candy machine uh, toys over here. We've got Uno cards there. Top Trumps here. What are these cards? Military jets. We got a, a popcorn maker here. We have what are these puzzles, minions. Yep, puzzles, exactly what they are. We have uh, a bunch of random puzzles here. Look at this uh, variety cereal stuff. Star Wars puzzles, 3D puzzles, cornflakes. Reminds me of the old 90s. Big Money, Taboo, Stratego. Looks like a lot of... Uh, Puzzles and board games and... Oh, look at Bluey. Hi, Bluey. Doesn't do anything. You have Connect 4, Monopoly, Chess, Othello. Look at all these different Monopoly versions here. Ninja Turtles, the Super Mario Brothers movie here. Got Avatar over there, Knockout. Oh, look, another Mario Monopoly. <laughs> uh, the Game of Life here. Wow. Headbands, whatever that is. They have Mousetrap here. Make Break. Sorry. Wow, look at this. Look at this memory game. They have somebody stacking up the inventory there. We have discovery toys here. So all of your experimentations that your kids want to do, you got it. Volcanoes, rocket ships, arts, Play-Doh experiments. They got it all here in this section right here. When I was a kid, I was a big nerd. I really wanted a telescope or a microscope for Christmas. Never got one, though. It was too expensive for my parents to afford. Uh, but they did get me video games, which is why I'm such a gamer now. So I appreciate it. I don't mind it. Look at this, they got tie-dye for the shirts, for your socks, for your jackets, whatever they, whatever you want. You got it here in the sparkle section here, do it yourself. Uh, girl section here, you got a rock tumbler, you got minerals, you got rocks. That was definitely my section back in the day. Experiments, rocks, telescopes, microscopes, and a bunch of other weird uh, stuff. That was seen back in the day, if you were a nerd like me. You got Slime here, Catapult Wars, a lot of very interesting experimentation-like stuff. Again, tie-dye friendlies. You can tie-dye your own little fluffy buddy over here. You got surprise balls over here. Let's see. Can you turn this thing? Nope. Nothing, but that's okay. And you got a cash box over here. So if you want to store your money, your real money, your fake money, right here, cash box. And we got Go Play here, which is we got little toys, little Sonic toys. Sonic, Sonic little, little uh, plushies over there. All these action figures. So much, so much, so much stuff here. Look at this. You got Rubik's, Rubik's Cube looking stuff, Light Bright. You know, I've always wanted to get one of these. Just, uh, I never had one when I was a kid. I, I never buy one. They're always on sale. You have these little magic thingamajigs. Uh, my niece has one of these, kind of, like where they make little experiments and stuff. Pretty cool. Flash memory game, I guess kind of like, uh, you know, bop it, twist it kind of thing, or Simon Says, you know, kind of game. You got a magic eight ball, that's cool. You got Harry Potter stuff here. Look at all the Harry Potter stuff. Light speed, 
Oh, more Rubik's Cube stuff. Speed Cube Deluxe set. Look at all this stuff. I didn't even know Rubik's had a uh, company here for toys, but they do. And look at that. They have like a ball now. Look at this. Little uh, bundle here. Wow, uh, let's see. Look at that. 30 bucks for this bundle. Yeah, maybe it'll help you uh, think uh, more uh, mathematically or something. Yeah, I, I don't know, to be honest. I ne I could never do a Rubik's Cube. Never, never. I, I would try. I know there's a pattern to it. Couldn't do it. Now we got LOL dolls over here. Uh, LOL surprises, as you can see. But these are like friendship bracelets. Um... Guys, this video is probably going to be very, very long. So if you want to take a break and come back and watch the extra half, you can. Hatch moles because I'm going to try to fit it all in one video. But it's probably going to be like an hour long. So we'll see. We got uh, mermaid corn here. All like surprise kind of things like these mini brands are all surprise boxes, surprise eggs. Very much. There's my Jeffrey uh, mango smoothie going down nicely for this little trip um more surprises cry babies look at this you got some candy over here so like i said more, we got the cry babies here we have more look at that star wars you got the child mandalorian there more oh these are minecrafts here look at pikachu looking cute up there with uh squirtle you got yoshi you got mario you got the ninja turtles here donatello Raphael, michelangelo leonardo my favorite let's see how much this little plushie is let's see 18 dollars for this yoshi how about this uh dr robotnik here we got 9.99 over there Wow, $9.99. Well, there you go. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get some more prices of things, random things, you know. And look at this, Magic School Bus. The Magic School Bus. This is the new Netflix one, but that's pretty cool. Rides again, Weather Lab. A nice little experimentation uh Nerdy toy I probably would have liked uh, back in the day. Here's the elevator. Look at that. They got a little, some stairs painted onto it. More uh, marshmallows, I believe. Uh, squishies or whatever they want to call them again. You got, look at this. What's this? Marvin's Magic. Number one for Magic Worldwide. Look at this. They got a little magic section here. You got, you got the quicksand there, but look at this. 200, 250 card tricks. Uh, and I was a big nerd with magic. I, I, I still know some magic tricks here and there. I used to uh, learn them from a website called illusionists.com. And uh, I was obsessed with them. I, I would learn coin tricks, card tricks. I probably still know a few. I loved it. I was all into it. It's beautiful. Like I was saying, nerd. Uh, all right, Mickey Mouse. They got a little Mickey Mouse and Friends little... This is pretty cool, like a little train set or something. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We got a little... Uh, look at that. Let's play. They got the registers over here for when you're ready to pay. Look at the stairs. They got a, they got two floors in this Toys R Us. Two. Oof. Two floors. And they got little, little Jeffries that if you want to take uh, or buy one, you can buy one. Take it home with you. Remind yourself of Toys R Us, of your visit to Toys R Us. You got more little... You got, look, look at that, yo-yos. You got yo-yos over here? Does any, anybody use yo-yos anymore? Anybody play with yo-yos anymore? You got a little cart or a little basket if you're going you're gonna to make some, uh, some shopping. Am I allowed to spin this wheel? Let's see, let's spin it a little bit. Wow. Look at that sound. I feel like I'm in a game show. Look at that. All this stuff here. Enter for a chance to win. That's pretty cool. American Dream. Toys R Us American Dream. Ah, look at that. That's pretty cool. I guess you win one of the toys if it lands on it. That's pretty cool. All right. We have the Care Bear section here. That's pretty cool. We got Simba. 
$24.99 for uh, the Lion King Simba over here. We got Star Wars, more Star Wars stuff. We got a little teddy bear, gen generic teddy bear. We got the slime again here. Glitter scented for a dollar ninety nine. Look at that. Uh, the the bo the down the bottom one is uh, the bigger one is three ninety nine. You got a little Barbie photo shoot here. If you want to stand up here and take a picture with uh, two Barbies here, cardboard cutouts. Uh, you're more than welcome. There are Barbies right behind it. But look at these Care Bears. Look at that. I remember the cartoons from back in the day. I, I don't even know if they're still on, if you can still watch them. I mean, you, can, you can definitely still watch them, but, you know, let me see. $9.99 for one of these little cute Care Bears. We got a little keyboard here. It's not working. More toys. Look at that, Elmo. What is that? Oh, brush my teeth, Elmo, or something like that. Well, that's pretty cool. You got the Cookie Monster over here, twenty four ninety nine for that one. You got Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Fisher Price over there. Look at this phone. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Can, does this work? Does it say anything? Nothing. I guess they turn them all off, or there's just a lot of kids here that, you know, drain the batteries. I guess. Let's see, we have these other keyboards over here. More Fisher Price drum sets here. You got the baby infant teething toys. You got the Help Me Walk and Plays here. You have Hello Kitty. Oh, like a little, uh, little, little tummy time kind of thing. You have this wheel here, let's see. All right, it works. Check that out. Do it again. Ooh, the cow. All right, moo. Moo for the cow. All right, well, that works. That was pretty cool. You got the rings, more phones, more little baby toys here. Pretty cool. And you got a big Minnie Mouse house over here. More Fisher Price things here, a little purse, more more piano stuff, or xylophone stuff. Oh, you got Baby Shark over here and William. You got keys. You got Bluey over here. Look at that Bluey and her little sister and a Bluey house. Look at that. Two beds over there. The bathroom. That's cool. Blues. Was that Blue's Clues? Blue's Clues. More baby toys here. You got a little teapot. They got Coco Melon, another popular show for little kids. You got them all. You got it all here. A little train set there. You got all the friends, the little action, the little action figures or whatever you want to call them. Little toys. You got Curious George here, you got Paw Patrol, Babysitter books, all these books right here. Look at that. The Cat in the Hat. You got a sheep up there. A little Bo Peep. Zan. You got Z Zand here. Little packets of sand here. Zand with a Z. Two Z's. Look at that. And there are the prices $9.99. But the three pound bag is eleven ninety nine. This is it right here, I guess. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Zan. I wonder what the difference is with the with this one and the kinetic sand. Because I think they're different brands. Oh, there's Zan right here. Look at this. Zan. Wow, look at that. I mean, it looks like it has the same texture as a kinetic sand, which I'm I assume that's the that's the brand for kinetic sand. Maybe it's the same thing, but it, yeah, it looks pretty similar has a little stretchy feel to it pretty nifty actually you know the kinetic sand you know let's see what else we got here well, it looks like we have a little what's supposed to be like a play section for kids if they came to the store it's wooden blocks you got Paw Patrol here you got more blocks mega blocks mega blocks more blocks. 
to help build your mind. Look at these building cups. Those are pretty cool. And those are pretty cool too. Wow, look at this. Draw a picture, pattern play, brainy patterns and words, a monkey match. Look at this. The fun way to learn simple matching. That's pretty cool. Look at this. A pinball, a pinball game? That's pretty cool. We have, let's see. Connects. Well, wow, connects. Look at that. That was one of... At one time, that was like a Lego competitor. I don't even know if it is anymore. We got Melissa and Doug. You know, Melissa and Doug's have very popular toys here for little kids. Uh, very wooden, you know, very simple, but my daughter loves them. Let's see, party nail glitter party. Wow, look at that. Look at this little, uh, what is that, a pelican? A seagull? What is it? Tell me. Tell me in the comments down below, is that a pelican or a seagull? I think it's a pelican, though. The, the, the seagull has more of like a, a, like a down uh, beak, like a fattier, a fattier looking one. So we got more kinetic sand here, different colors, pink, blue, you name it, it's here. You got more sand curls, mixy squish over here. You got LOLs, more stuff here, more arts and crafts stuff, stuff for your hair, Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty nails, you know, if you want to, you know, do your nails, a spirograph, wow, look at this, you got markers here, Dino Snap, arts and crafts. What is this over here? Mood Joy for a journal. 1,000 wooden craft sticks here. Arts and crafts, more of it here. We got Slimy, Pop Fizz, a hat, American Girl crafts. This is all like arts and crafts stuff, but they have a big selection. They seem to have a, a really good selection. And look, arts and crafts right next to Play-Doh, of course. Play-Doh, there's somebody working over there, so I'm not going to go over there and, you know, be all up in their, their workspace. I'm going to let them work, let them do their job, and just, uh, you know, zent, zent some rules. What's that? More Care Bear stuff, but this is arts and crafts. It's like an arts and crafts section here, right by the kinetic sand. And here's the Play-Doh, 20 pack, $14.99. But there you go. You got little ones, big ones. You got... Look at what they got here. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's a million toys at Toys R Us that I can play with. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. They've got the best. So much less you'll really flip your lid. From bikes to trains to video games. It's the biggest toy store there is. I don't want to grow up. Because if I did... I couldn't be a Toys R Us kids. More games, more toys. Oh boy, I want to be a Toys R Us kid. All right, not the best singing, especially with the voice that I have right now, but <clears throat> that was the theme song on the stairs going up to the second floor of the Toys R Us here in the American Dream Mall. Look at that. And this second floor is huge. Look at this, slide into fun, take a ride on our slide, hours Monday through Friday, 1 to 2 p.m. and 4 to 5 p.m. So the slide is closed now. So maybe I'll come back and see if, uh, if I can go down the slide Let's see what time it is. Let's see what time it is right now. It is 3.25 on a Friday. Hmm. All right, now we have Playmobil here. Or play mobile or play mobile or anything, whatever. They got a little screen there with, with it playing in the background. I guess they have a cartoon for this toy. Am I right? Am I wrong for this? Somebody tell me. But they have police cars here. Oh, look at that. Back to the Future Playmobil. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We have Dinosaur Playmobil. Well, we have a lot of stuff. Volkswagen here. 
Oh, look. Uh, dragons. We have... Oh, look at that. So, Blimp. Wow, oh, they have... Well, I, I, you know, I didn't know this, this uh, toy company was so big or was so varied with their toys. Uh, or that they, that they even had licensing deals for stuff like... Um, like Back to the Future. Uh, look at this. Scooby Doo. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Wow. They have a Scooby Doo license for this one, too. Let's see how much this is. What do we got here? $64.99. That, that's, that's hefty. That's hefty. But uh, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's a, it's a good toy. They have a huge section here. All for them. So. Another police parachute looking thingamajig. Uh, let's see. Well, hand glider. Underwater stuff. Look, they even got a they even got a girl section here. Playmobil magic. Underwater. Another water section. Look at this. A castle with Wow. You got a little water fountain there, a princess, or a queen, and then a princess, a fighting princess with a sword. You got trees. I wonder if these, like, go together like Legos do. You know, do you, do you make them, or are they already made? They, they seem like they're already made, so, yeah, they seem like they're already, you know, but they look a little bit like Legos. We got a big princess here as a model for the uh, Playmobil section here. $149 for that, for that castle. We got a fire truck here. Look at that. We care about your safety. Please refrain from climbing on top of the fire engine. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Got a little steering wheel here. Oh, look at that. I turned on the lights. That's pretty cool. And this button does nothing. I was hoping it would be a, uh, a horn of some sort, but it, it was probably going to get too loud uh, for the, the store workers. Probably not the best idea. Uh, we got City Life here. We got another a little play section for kids. We got a fire. Look at that. A firefighter section here with a station house. A ladder, helicopter. Look at that. The station house has uh, solar panels on the, on top of that. Look at that. This seems like a, a very simple place. Huh? Look at the chairs there. You got horses. Look at these horses here. Wow, horses. You have all kinds of horses, carriages. Oh my gracious, look at this, a farm, Playmobil country. Wow, this section is huge. They just have everything, city life. They got the country, the city. Look at that. Wow, and then you got Legos right next to them. What are these, a Yuma? What are what's a Yuma? More, look, an advent calendar. Look at that, advent calendar. Now we got Lego Minecraft here. Very popular in the video game section, as well as Legos. You got Star Wars here. You got the child up there. Look at this. These are, I'm assuming, very expensive. You got Lego. Sonic the Hedgehog Lego section here. Just like the Mario section. Let's see. Let's see how much this one is right here. $90 for Star Wars The Child. Oof. All right. Now we got the Glamour Girls here. Glamour Girl dolls. We got action figures here. We got Batman. We got Batman Batsicle. With four figures, $29.99. See, can you move the head? Can you move anything at all? It's pretty stiff. Pretty stuck in there. You got the wheel though, the wheel's turning. Feels nice. You got a beast lab here. Beast lab. We have Paw Patrol here. Paw Patrol. 
We have Barbies, Holiday Barbie Signature Dolls, $44.99 each. 2022 Holiday Barbie, 2022. That's 2023. What are these over here? Little Babies. Baby Alives, I'm assuming. Let's see. There's, oh, my God. There's so much in the store. Oh, my gracious. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover it all. I got more action figures. Marvel figurines here. We got Nerf guns over here. Ultra Nerf gun. Select. Let's see. How much is this thing? 40 bucks. $39.99 for this Nerf gun here. Pretty big. Pretty, pretty sick, actually. Pretty awesome. We got more Marvel characters here. Spider-Man, Captain America. Let's take a look here. $7.99 for this little toy, huh? That's, that's actually not, not bad. Not, not bad at all right there. There you go. There you go. You can get a little... Uh, I get some shopping there for a little $7.99 toy. You got this kitchen sink over here. Talks. Supposed to talk. Doesn't talk. We got more... House kitchen stuff. Yep. Then we got the laundry, the microwave, the toaster oven. Look at that washer place set there. Look at that toaster. Make some toast. We got a shopping basket cart duo here with a with a cashier. Wow. We got we got a vacuum. Big food box, Chef Junior's kitchen. So we've got a lot of vegetables you can cut. Wow, look at this. What is this over here? Animal Zone? What's Animal Zone? Huh. I wonder if cartoons still have... Um, I wonder if toys all have cartoons at, uh, set after them. Uh, I know that's that was the case in the 90s. You know, you had the Ninja Turtle toys. Look at this Mr. Potato Head. Mash mo mobiles, mash mobiles. Wow, look at that, Mr. Potato Head, Miss Potato Head, or Mrs. Potato Head. That's pretty cool. Wow. You have makeup, makeup for little girls, purses for her, little dog purse with the eyelashes on there. We have. More Harry Potter stuff, magical minis, Harry Potter figurines here. Let's see, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Right, we saw this already. We got more chef stuff, more cooking stuff, a basket full of uh, fruit and other things you would pick up at the supermarket. So that's pretty cool. How much is this thing? $8.99. That, that's not bad. You know what? My daughter would like this. She would want to like cook some, some fruit or something, or not fruit. You don't cook fruit, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Look at this twenty six feet of track. That's pretty cool. Twenty six feet of track. You got more Harry Potter, Schleich, Schleich figurines. However you pronounce it. You got Hermione here. Let's see how much we got. You know, twenty dollars. Damn, twenty dollars for this figurine right here. I don't know if I would spend twenty dollars on a toy like that. Let's see. We got more, more, uh, more plushies, more Animal Zone stuff here. We got the Lion King collectible figure set for twelve ninety nine. Okay, okay, okay. High giraffe. The giraffe is there. Look at this. I already feel like I'm in a much more magical place than the Macy's store in uh, 34th Street definitely feel a lot more in a a lot more in a kid friendly like feeling of when I used to go to Toys R Us when I was a kid um, the only thing I see that's missing so far is an actual game zone a video game section it says video games on the theme song still and I still have yet to see a Toys R Us with a video game section. Now, I know Best Buy is going away from physical media. But 
I still want to see my physical video games. You know what I'm saying? Especially uh, at Toys R Us. It was a big part of my Toys R Us experience is playing with those demos, playing with those systems that were set up. I loved, loved every sing, every second of it. It was part of the toys and part of the toy experience is playing with the video games. All right, here we have Wish. $99.99 for this Disney castle. Lego castle for Wish. That new uh, Disney movie that came out a few months ago. Uh, they have a Lego set for it. That's pretty cool. It's good that they got ahead of that. Um, I feel like when Encanto came out, uh, over the pandemic, I guess, uh, they didn't uh, have toys out for it. And my daughter wanted toys for it, and I couldn't find really much of anything until like a few months later after uh, they decided to come out with toys and stuff. It was prior to the pandemic. What is this? Chain Reactions Lego? Add a ramp? What is this? It's like an instruction booklet of how to do Lego stuff, but like moving stuff like a domino effect kind of thing that's actually pretty cool all right we have more lego stuff here more uh we have gabby's playhouse here we have a big airplane here a military airplane we have uh, let's see here more military stuff, war stuff, hero stuff. We got a big truck playing up there in the uh, screen. Let's see, more, more teddy bears, more stuffed animals, more Nerf guns. Look at all these Nerf guns over here. Look at this. We got little ones, big ones. We got little bicycles that you can ride on and shoot from what is this ten dollars for this uh this little thing that's that's pretty cool how about this big one right here this big blue one let's see there well there it is let's see the elite what do we got here 50 bucks for this big one right here look at that 50 dollars i don't know I guess I'll have to see if my, one of my daughters wants a uh, uh, a Nerf gun. Hot Wheels, though. They're into Hot Wheels. Uh, my daughter's into Hot Wheels. So, what is this? $150 for this for this Hot Wheels thing? This track? Yo, you're, you're, you're crazy, bro. You're, like, yo, you want me to spend $150 for a Hot Wheels? What is it? $80 for a track. Plus, you got to buy the cars. I mean, my daughter already has some Mario Kart Hot Wheels cars, but but damn, that's that's a lot of money right there. That's yo, like one hundred and fifty dollars. Like video games are sixty dollars, seventy dollars. Damn, one hundred and fifty dollars. Holy moly! I, I never got Hot Wheels when I was a kid, and that's probably why. If that was the price for them when I was a kid, my Parents could definitely not afford that. Definitely couldn't afford that. All right, we got we got some nice cars here. Look at that Jeep. Look at that. How much is this car right here? I don't see a price for one. Oh, here we go. $54 for this model Wrangler truck. We have a wooden train set here. We have trains. Look at Thomas the Train. Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway. That's pretty cool. You got the you got you can buy the trains, you can connect them, put them around the track. That's pretty cool. Let's see how much is this? $150 too for this thing? $40. I mean better, but that's $40 is still expensive for a for a train track. But you know, I mean Inflation and everything, I guess. Oof. Oh, look at Blippy. If you don't know who Blippy is, he's a, like a uh, YouTube sensation, really, for little kids. You know, he's always uh, teaching kids 
about different things. He goes to a lot of uh, kids' museums and teaches them how to play with a bunch of stuff. Sand, water experiments, Take goes to like ice cream uh, shops and makes his own ice cream. He, he does a lot of stuff. He does a lot of good, good clean teaching for kids. I, I recommend Blippi if you have a, a child at home. Uh, he's super fun and he's getting more and more popular as the years go by because when i first started watching blippy when my daughter was a little girl I, I don't think anybody knew who he was he didn't even have his own toy line now he has his own toy line and he's on netflix now crazy look at this fisher price little people look at that i used to have little people when i was a when i was a child i remember i probably still have some somewhere in uh my mom's uh, basement or something or her attic or wherever they store toys look at this police car wow 15 dollars. see that's what i'm talking about this police car right here for 15 bucks that's pretty cool i definitely see this is what i'm talking about i see like toys you know <sighs> they're just expensive very expensive you got more hot wheel stuff i'm assuming very expensive Cito. Probably. Let's see what we have over here. More Hot Wheels stuff. A lot of tracks, though. I love the Hot Wheels tracks. They always have good tracks. But I, the Rainbow Road track was also $150 for Mario Kart. $150 at the store. I went to Facebook Marketplace. Highly recommend Facebook Marketplace. I ended up buying a Mario Kart rainbow road track that's 150 dollars in the store i bought it used with a carts it came with carts that the seller added on to it and it was 60 dollars, 60 bucks from 150 dollars to 60 dollars we set it up we put it together and my daughter had a blast with it and i didn't pay 150 dollars, and it was great it didn't have to come from the box and i completely worth it completely worth it every penny now we have this little roadster here what do we got here we got i got a look at that 75 dollars holy moly oh my god having kids is expensive if they want all these toys here look at this 75 dollars hot wheels the crash that one that's 75 dollars that's not bad for Hot Wheels. We got Matchbox here. We got cars up there. Let's see what else we have over here. There's just so... I don't know where to look. There's so many things here. Look at this. They got Hot Wheels. More Hot Wheels stuff here. $49.99 here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. The Mario Kart. Look at this. Look at this track here. It's a ghost. It's the uh, Haunted House. What do we got here? $27.99. This is just one, like a track, like a track connector or something. Look at this WWE. Look at this Triple H monster truck here. Wow. Triple H. I was a big WWE fan, as you can tell by my nerdy ways, my geeky ways. That was me. A wrestling fan. Still a wrestling fan. Look at The Rock. Look at The Rock sponsor truck. We have, let's see, more stuffed animals here. It's like in, made in Germany since 1880. You have, look at this chicken here. Oh, it's nice and soft. Let's see how much this chicken is. Little chicken, or big chicken. Or rooster, maybe it's a rooster. Let's see what we got here. Uh, $50 for this. For this cockadoodle-doo, oh my God, holy moly, what in the world, $50 for one of these, let's see this dog right here, let's take a look at this dog, we got $50 for this beautiful doggy, he is soft, look at him, he's sweet, but damn, $50, well, that's it. This is life now. This is life. Look at this sloth. Oh, he's super soft and super cute. Oh, my God. 
just want to cuddle up. You know, you just put them all these, put all these stuffed animals in your bed and just like sleep with them as pillows. Super comfy. Let's see what we got. Look at those big penguins up there. You got monkeys. You got elephants. Look at this big bear. Holy moly. Hey there, bear. Please don't eat me. Wow. You got the birds there. You got the elephant, the giraffe, and the lion. Could you imagine? Wow. We got some more bears here. These are Toys R Us bears. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Bears, all these different colors, super soft. All right, $17.99, that's what I'm talking about. See, Toys R Us knows what they're doing. Let me just buy my, my brand of teddy bear. It's a lot cheaper. You got toys here for trolls. You got some monkey sunglasses over there. Some smaller magic stuff. More little Jeffreys over here. Little Jeffrey, Jeffrey giraffes over here. Look at this little... Little, like, model toys or something. Look at these old school, like, uh, battle war knights toys and stuff. Look at this. Look at this alligator or crocodile with a sword and a shield. Shimmy's plush. Look at this. $10 here. Yeah, Funko Pops. Look at that. Look at all these Funko Pops here. Super popular at one point. I think they still are. Look at that Chocolate Freddy. Oh, from, uh, what is it, Five Nights at Freddy's? They just came out with a movie. That game is spooky and scary. But there's Freddy right there. Very good game. If you've played it, if you haven't, definitely, uh, definitely take a look. You got Beauty the Beast here. You got Naruto here. Look at that Dumbo, Star Wars, more Dumbo up there. Wow, look at this. You got The Office, more Star Wars. You got more Baby Yoda stuff there. Look at that Bugs Bunny with a silver basketball. Harry Potter, Funko Pops. I never got into Funko Pops. I, I was into... Amiibos, um, and I kept them in the box just like this. So now I have Amiibos everywhere, and they take up a lot of space because I never took them out of the box, and uh, there you go. So that's why I never got into uh, Funko Pop because I uh, would have no room in my house. Uh, it would not be good, not be good. Very, uh, very claustrophobic in there if that was the case. White Rabbit over here. Y'all look at Woody. Wow. Yeah, but these are very popular. People collect them. Hopefully, they don't collect all of them. We have all oh, Power Rangers. We've got a Power Rangers section here. Look at this. Wow. Power Rangers. You got the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Dino Zord, Dino Megazord, the White Megazord. Let's see what we got here. $15, $14.99. Not bad for an old school toy here. Not bad. You got more Megazords up there. Let's see. Very simple. Very lightweight for ages four and up. Look at that. You got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I guess their house in the sewer. Playset. You have more Power Rangers stuff here. Power Rangers Lightning Collection. 30 bucks for that. More Power Rangers figurines here. Look at the old school looking Ninja Turtles. Looks like all they have is Raphael. I guess the other one's sold out. I guess the turtles, the other turtles are more popular. Look at that. Look at Bebop. Bebop. Donnie versus Bebop. Bebop and Rocksteady. Wow. Jurassic World. We got some Jurassic World stuff here. Some dinosaur toys. We have Minions over here, The Rise of Guru from the Rise of Guru movie by Illumination, the same animation company that made the Super Mario Brothers movie. We got more dinosaurs here, these cute looking ones over here. 
Look at this. This one doesn't do anything. This one. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. How about this one? Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. We got some Jurassic Park or Jurassic World cars for $6.99 here. Let's see what else we have here. Look at that. More Star Wars. Minions here. Oh, look at these Pokeballs. So they each have a different Pokemon in them, I guess. That's pretty cool. You got Bulbasaur. You got Pikachu there. This is that big place that we looked up before. How much is this? Let's see. $79.99 for this big play set. That's pretty cool. Over 25 inches tall. Three areas of play. You got the subway over there in that section. More Pokeballs here. With their own Pokemon, with their own Pokeball. And I guess you throw them. Throw your Pokemon into battle. Look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. More Star Wars stuff. Look at this cute. Look at this cute little baby Yoda. And look at this. Look at that. Look at how cute he is. Oh, my God. Look at him go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Grogu. Grogu looks so cute here. Look at it, that smile. How much is this thing? $17.99. I pay $17.99 because he looks adorable there. Oh, my gracious. Oh, my gracious. That was adorable. Star Wars Vintage Collection Hallway Playset for 40 bucks. Got more Star Wars toys here. Look at that from the animated series of um, the Clone Wars, I'm assuming. You have a lightsaber here. Let's see how much this lightsaber is. Let's see. 30 bucks for a, a Star Wars lightsaber. Not bad. It's probably not the best. Probably not very bright, but, you know, $9.99 for these figurines over here. You got the older, the old school Star Wars figurines here as well. You got Han Solo there. It says Archive on it. There you go. Look at them. Uh, what is that? 20 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. You got Transformers here. More, more Star Wars stuff from Hasbro. You have, what's this over here? All oh, Transformers. Look at that. I almost missed Transformers. They got a bunch of Transformers here. Look at that. You got you got them from Beast Wars. You got the original Transformers here. Oh, my God. You have so many. The options are all over the place. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a little price here. Did anybody ever watch Transformers as they were growing up? $34.99 for this one. <clears throat> How about these little ones? Little tiny ones. $15 for these little tiny ones. Look at that. Bumblebee. From the movie Bumblebee. <clears throat> well, I'm losing my voice here with uh, <clears throat> all this talking. Oh, this is Bumblebee right here. The actual Bumblebee himself. $39.99 for that one. Yeah, I used to watch uh, Transformers, The Beast Wars as well. Uh, I was I remember that one specifically because I was a lot older when that one came out. Look at this. What's this over here? A little uh, RC car or something. I'm trying to see. Oh, I see. It doesn't, it could never tip over. You can always, uh, we had one of these when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, it would just hit the wall and it would always keep going. You could, it would never, this is 30, $32, $32.99. Yeah, there was one of these. I remember. Yeah, it would, it would always flip over. It could never not, it could never stop. Like you could never crash it to the point where it couldn't keep going. That That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool toy. I, I, I would buy that probably for myself, but you know, probably for my daughter, you know. Uh, let's see. We have... Oh, look at this. More WWE stuff. There's a Fiend. May he rest in peace. 
as you know, as you, or you may not know, the fiend, Bray Wyatt, passed away last year. Very tragic, very unexpected, and very young. So, definitely uh, keep him in mind in your prayers. If you're a WWE fan, especially, uh, you have these play sets here, these wrestling rings. Let's see what we have here. $50 for this uh, wrestling ring here. That's pretty cool. $50 for the uh, for that ring set. Damn, I wanted a ring set so bad as a kid. I really wanted one. But, uh, you yeah, know, it is what it is. You know, you can't have everything. It teaches you the value of money and the value of uh, everything, really, that you own. You got Becky Lynch here. A tag team superstar for fifteen dollars here. Pretty cool little 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 toy here, especially if you know you have a. I mean, the the they don't sound like like them. It it sounds like they use somebody else for the voiceovers, but you have these belts here. Oh, look at what you got back there. Oh, let me let me move this out of the way. Let me see if I can move this somewhere here. Let's see where can I put this over here. Okay. Let's see what we got. Look at that old school WWE Championship. The World Heavyweight title that Bret Hart had. Oh my God. Very old school. I love it. I love it. Look at that. That's the new WWE Championship of what it looks like up there. You have Batman stuff here. A lot of his gadgets. Gotham City Guardian. Let's see how much so I can find something. More more DC stuff here. There's DC stuff from DC Comics and DC Super Friends. I'm assuming this is like his bat cave here, a very cartoonish looking bat cave. And this turns pretty cool. Now we have Pixar Toys R Us toys here. We have Woody. Here we have a bunch of different Woody stuff here. Buzz Lightyear from the Lightyear movie. I never watched the Lightyear movie, but uh, you know, I'm not opposed to it. I, I just gotta find time to watch it. See how good it is. This Woody toy is $17.99, so not bad. You got more Avengers stuff here, more Marvel stuff. You got Iron Man, you got Spider-Man toys here. You got Thor, you got superhero adventures. Here, the Hulk and everybody in a car. $14.99. And you have, let's see. Oh, look at this. The Ghostbusters mobile. Look at this. How much is this thing? Let's see. Oh, 20 bucks for the Ghostbusters mobile. The Ghostbusters car. Oh, look at this. Oh, you got a different face here. Let's see. Oh, you can change the face from happy to mad. Happy to mad. Look at that. The Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. $15. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at that. Oh, Bakugan. Your Bakugan. You know, I never knew how to play Bakugan. I don't know if you were supposed to knock out the other player with it or what, but got a book bag there for Mickey Mouse. You have, look at this. Look at me skateboarding with my fingers. Yeah, look at me skateboarding with the fingers. You got Fortnite stuff, more Spider Man stuff. Let's see, $12 here. Fortnite, Spider-Man, more Jurassic World stuff, Bakugan again. Yeah, does anybody know how to play Bakugan? How, how, how did that work? How did, how did it work to play Bakugan? Like, what are you supposed to do? What was the point of the game? What was the point of the game? 
this. Can we find the price? Let's see. Mm, for this monster truck, here we go. $50. That's not bad. And more remote control as well. All right, we saw the, look at that, the RC Batmobile here is $29.99. Look at that, old school looking Batmobile. Actually, it's from the Batman movie, the, the latest one, so probably not too old school. Actually, it just doesn't seem like it has a lot of gadgets attached to it. You have this uh, Superman action figure here. You have uh, PJ Masks. And so many, uh, so many different like, characters here. Look at that He-Man here. Oh my God! For Masters of the Universe, this toy is twenty dollars. Oh boy! More Power Ranger stuff there. B B Blade B Blade Black. Is this like Bakugan too? Can somebody like explain it to me, please? Because I, I don't see it's like Beyblade here. It, it, it looks like Bakugan as well. Is are they like the same thing? Do they have like the same premise? Is it the same like you know end game? I've always wanted to know. Look at this dinosaur. Look at this big dinosaur. Let me see. Try me. What is this? What am I doing here? What do I have to do here? I gotta move this up or what? Oh, look at that. It makes noise. Oh, I was trying to escape. Oh boy. Holy moly! Look at that. It's trying to escape like at the beginning of the movie. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty cool. Whoa, that's 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 sick. Oof, I love that. A hundred dollars for this bad boy right here. You want to take that one home? A hundred bucks. Oh my god, look at this. Now we're at the doll section. Look at that. We have a crib for your doll. You know. So you can take care of your doll, put her in the crib, $24.99 for the rocking, oh it rocks too, look at that, it's a rocking crib. You got the high chair, you got a bicycle up there, you got kindness club dolls here, look at that, you have monster high, look at that, scared advice island, look at all these toys here. Now I definitely believe that this is a cartoon as well. $21.99 for this one, for Monster High. Look at that, look at that car. It's like a little spider web, pink and purple car here. $39.99. More dolls here, different dolls. Different baby looking dolls, more Monster High stuff here for action figures, dolls, whatever you want to say or call them. A bicycle here, New York doll, uh, Gabby's dollhouse here. There's definitely a cartoon for Gabby. Gabby's perfect dollhouse, $69.99. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this section, Barbie section here. You know, Barbie. You go to a doll section, there has to be Barbie. I remember the old Times Square Toys R Us. The big one with the Ferris wheel and everything. Right in the middle of Times Square had a big, had all their Barbies inside of an actual Barbie house. It was insane. My, my sister went crazy in there. She loved it. Let's see. We have uh, the Madrigal house here for Encanto. And that's going to be $79.99 for this big old house. My daughter has that already, so... There you go, you have Barbie Chelsea here. Let's see how much she is. Look at that. There she is. You got $16.99 for her. All right, let's make sure nothing falls here. <laughs> let's make sure we don't make a mess. Oh, you got the Barbie cutie reveal. So these are like surprises and you get one of these Barbies and their color change. I recently got one for my daughter and she loves it. She got introduced by watching some YouTube video of an, someone unboxing one of them. And then all of a sudden she was like, oh, look, you can change colors. You use warm water or hot water and cold water. And they change. And they're all different Barbies. They're also like surprises. It's pretty cool. She enjoyed it. You know, and I enjoyed uh, doing it with her. So... 
you know, you know, opening it with her and using the water experiment for color change. Pretty cool. Now you have this uh, Barbie hairstyling Barbie. So, you know, you can, you know, make braids or ponytails for her and everything. You got this gymnastic Barbie over here. Uh, yep, there she is right there. You have this scooter riding Barbie. You have, look at this big, what is this, a slide? Look at this. It's like a like an RV, RV dream camper Barbie. Look at that. And look at that. They have a slide here. They can go down the slide. That's a big slide. High slide, it says. It has a kitchen in it. Look at that. Let's see if we can find how, how much this is. I don't know. I see a price here, actually. Let's see. No, nope, I don't see one. All right, well, there it is. I tried. I tried. More Barbie stuff here. You got the dream house. Look at that house. You got a pool in there or a bathtub. Oh, it is a pool. Pool and a bathtub. Look at that house. Wow. Look at that. You got different accessory accessory Barbies. You got a, an astronaut Barbie, a music playing Barbie, a guitar. Big dreams, big city Barbie. Fashion combo Barbie if you want to change your clothes. You got a horse. Who is this? Oh, this is um, Spirited. The, the the movie, toys from the movie. You got OMG here, LOL. Again, their dolls. LOL surprise, bigger surprise. Look at that. That's a, f a case full of surprises right there for $59.99. Look at that. Peppa Pig here. Look at that. Peppa Pig toys. Wow. Everybody. Everybody. A uh, house. You got all the characters here. What are these things over here? Oh, this is oh, this is Polly Pocket. I remember Polly Pocket when Polly Pocket used to be just Polly Pocket, like a it was like a pocket toy, and you could just play. It was like a tiny toy. Now she's big, and you know I think she has a new series and stuff. You got Baby Alive over here in this section. More LOL surprise fashion house for ninety nine dollars. Another kind of house over here, twinsy dolls for twins. Look at all these twins over here. You can get twins. You can buy a doll and have twins. This one's made, handmade linen doll for $34.99. It's nice and soft. You got more twins here, boys and girls, or girl twins, or just boy twins. Got these other dolls right here. Let's see, we got twenty dollars for these. More dolls here, more twins or siblings. You can they have you know, some of them have stuff that you can feed them with. Let's see. I've got some one of them has a blow dryer on them. You got Baby Alive, which is like the popular one where like, you know, they eat, they poop, they pee, they cry sometimes, and they don't stop crying until, look at this one, this one has a heartbeat, look at that, look at that. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Heartbeats Baby. Hmm, let's see, how much is this one? $14.99 for Happy Hearts Beat Baby, Baby Alive. They got Baby Alive minis. Look at that. They just have everything here. See, this one you could feed. This one's 15 bucks. You have more Baby Alives. You got all kinds of, kinds of one of them eats ice cream. Oh, look at this. This one grows up. This one gets taller. Oh, my God. Look at that. What is this? $69.99 for the Baby Alive grow up. Wow, it grows up. It grows up before your eyes. Wow. You got more Barbie stuff here. Look at that. Supermarket shopper Barbie. More fashionista Barbie stuff for ex with accessories. I guess some surprise accessories. You have more LOL stuff here. I think we're reaching the end of where... I think I've reached almost every section of this store. I think we are... Almost done. This is the last section here, the princess section 
of the doll section. You have Encanto dolls here. You have Little Mermaid. You got Ariel there. You have uh, more Disney stuff here. You have Wish, Wish dolls here from the latest movie uh, that I have yet to see. You got the Little Mermaid, the new Little Mermaid. You have, let's see, more Disney Princess toys, Disney Princess castles, Disney Princess houses. Look at that, the Frozen Castle playset is $39.99. Look at that, you got Olaf there. This one is $49.99 for this house right here, for this little princess house. Not the frozen one, the other one, the pink one. You got trolls here. Trolls World, World Tour. I remember when trolls, when I was a kid, trolls looked nothing like this. Trolls looked a little, you know, kind of scary looking in a way. Um... But yeah, I did have a Trolls, a Trolls doll with really long hair, and they were, like, scary looking a little bit. Not like this. I mean, they're kind of still scary looking, but, you know, they're, they're, they're okay. They're, they're a lot cuter. Look at this. A, a finger puppet or a finger friend? A fingerling. Fingerlings. Fingerlings over here. More Trolls. See, look at the hair. Look at the hair of the Troll. Like that. More just different Trolls. We have more spirit. Look at this. A fur real baby. A fur real. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at how cute. That one looks like he's sleeping. You got a fur real dinosaur here. I'm hearing noises here. Who's making noise? Which dinosaur is making noise? That one has his, his tongue out. Do they eat ice cream? Let's see. Oh, look at this one. There you go. Look at that one. He's trying to eat the ice cream. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Wow. Did these do anything? No. Dorables, 100. What is this? Dorables. These are like surprises for the 100th anniversary of Disney. That's pretty cool. So I think the only thing I'm disappointed right now is I do not. I think I've reached everything. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at that. Oh, you got heel skates here that you can add to your sneakers. No batteries needed. And they, they have light-up wheels. That's pretty cool. Hours of fun. Heel skates. Pretty sick, actually. Let me see. $24.99 for that. That's pretty good. Let's see. Look at that. You got the Furbies back there. Oh, you got a... a Pogo ball hopper. You got a, a scooter. Look at that. You got a bogo stick. Look at that. A bogo stick. They still sell these things, huh? Wow. They're not too dangerous, I guess. $24.99. I kind of want one. I kind of want to buy one. A, bo a bogo stick. They got these other ones over here, too. The bounce pogo stick sports. So, like I was saying, I think the only thing I'm disappointed at is like I mentioned before with the theme song that says video games on it, there is no video game section in this Toys R Us. Now, again, this Toys R Us is inside of a big, 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 big mall. So uh, I'm assuming, you know, they know that there are other stores here selling video games and there is a market and a, an audience for that, but there are other stores here that sell toys too. So I think... Personally, I'm a little disappointed in, uh, in that there are no video games in this Toys R Us either. Will I ever find a Toys R Us with video games? I am not sure. But uh, ugh, very disappointed in that. But this Toys R Us was definitely so much better than the Macy's Toys R Us. I just love that it's its own little space. It has a little cafe. It has all these toy sections. It, like This is the toy sections as you leave to pay. Oh, my God. This, this Toys R Us was great. And just everything that's around this Toys R Us. You got Nickelodeon. You got 
DreamWorks Water Park. You have all these other stores, these little stores that you don't see in any other mall for anime stuff, for art stuff, clothes, hats, everything. Oh my God, you name it. You'll, have a, you'll find a store in this mall. I may have to come back here and do another review of the actual mall and go to different stores. Let's see if this actually, let's, you know, let's see if this uh, slide is open. It is 420 on a Friday. The sign says from 4 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday is open. And look at that. It's closed. Well, that's going to that's gonna take down one of uh, a point from uh, my review here. But this Toys R Us here, no uh, negative points for not having the slide open when it says it's supposed to be open. And negative points for not having a video game section, unfortunately. But because it's surrounded by so many things and because it's in its own space and it has these, this magical feeling in it with the music in the background playing from different movies and Disney movies and video games, I give this Toys R Us a 9.0. 9.0 is my review for this one. But thank you guys for watching. I apologize that this video is so long, but I am exiting now in the elevator for Toys R Us. Thank you for watching. Leo, I'm chewing gum. Like, subscribe, share this video with all your friends. Again, I'm sorry it's a uh, long video, but I'll talk to you later. Happy 2024. Stay safe and stay healthy. Happy New Year. Ciao.